Busy is a bot built on the Microsoft bot framework. Busy runs in Teams as a bot that you can interact with. Busy can be trained to do a number of things. This training is done in Microsoft Flow. Let's take a look at how that works. I've already trained my Busy bot to do a couple of things using Microsoft Flow. By addressing the bot and giving it one of those keywords, I can start one of his skills. Trending is a skill that I taught Busy to go out and search Twitter on topics I'm interested in. Another example is I can ask Busy to search the Ignite schedule for me. With a similar flow, I just ask him to find sessions on cognitive services. Now let's take a look in flow to see how these were built. Starting with the Twitter example, if I edit this flow, you'll see that Busy has a trigger in flow that allows us to uh, trigger this flow based on a keyword called trending. Uh, the trigger description is what's displayed in the help dialog in Busy, and you can make this shared versus personal so that other users in your organization can either use it or you can make it restricted to just your personal use. After defining the trigger, we ask the user to supply some information. What topic do you want me to search on? This reply activity is a special scope property that comes from the intent trigger that allows us to manage context within the bot. We then do the search on Twitter with the response text that we got back from Busy that the user supplied. Then we loop through all the tweets and send a reply back to the user. The flow for getting Ignite sessions is very similar. Although instead of using the Twitter connector, we're using an HTTP action. So in this case, our keyword is search sessions. We do the same, get response action from busy. And then we do a post to the URL with the JSON payload. We parse that JSON into usable properties. Then we loop through it and write out the sessions to the user. Let's take a look at one other example. Busy also allows your triggers or your intents to be based off of Lewis intents, which is Microsoft Cognitive Services Language Understanding Intelligence Service. So I can ask Busy in natural language questions, and we can drive those into flows based on the intents that are brought back from Lewis. So I'm typing out, can you help Lisa with JavaScript? Busy comes back and says, sure thing. Hey, Lisa, why don't you try starting here with a link to how to Google JavaScript? The important thing to note here is that Busy, using Lewis, is able to pull out entities like users and subjects from the string that came in. Let's first take a look at the Lewis backend for this. I have an intent in Lewis called help user. I have a number of utterances with some entities set up for person and subject. After I train and publish this uh, to a Lewis endpoint, I can then set it up in my flow. Here is my help users with things flow. We edit this. We can see now, instead of a keyword intent, we go to advanced options, and we see it's a Lewis-based intent, where I'm able to set the, uh, the app and the intent used. We then parse the Lewis result JSON, pulling out the entities, which are person and subject, initialize these variables for subject and person, loop through all of our entities, set those variables equal to person or subject, based on which, which ones they are, and then respond back to the user. 
So imagine now all the different things that you can do with all of the connectors in Flow using Busy to create bots for your organization. I hope you're as excited as we are as we launch this at Ignite in September 2017.